Hi everyone, my name is Dia and I'm an IB year one student studying in Mumbai, India. I started my IBDP journey about a month ago and today I'll be filming a video of a day in my life and talking more about my transition from my pre-IB days to my IB days. So let's get started. Good morning, I just woke up, it's 7, 10 a.m. I like waking up an hour earlier because my school starts at 8 o'clock. So I like to take a shower, eat breakfast, uh, and just mentally prepare myself for school. So I'm going to go and get ready, and I will see So it's currently 8.25 a.m. and I have my first lesson of the day, which is TOK at 8.30. So I thought I'd do a quick check-in. Today is Tuesday, which means that it's the lengthiest and most tiring day of school. Because while school usually ends at 3 p.m. for us, on Tuesdays from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, we have our cast creativity clubs. Um, so it's a bit lengthier than usual. And I also don't have any free lessons today. So I'm going to have classes after classes, which is a bit tiring. So we just had our first lesson of the day, which was TOK. And we had a really interesting discussion on what truth is and how we can use certain parameters to evaluate the truth. Um, and ever since I've transitioned from the IB MYP program to the diploma program, um, TOK has been a new subject for me, but I really enjoyed the subject because while we've studied these things generally in the MYP program, in the diploma program we have this concrete subject where we can, you know, delve into concepts like knowledge and truth and other things that we take for granted. My next lesson is biology, which is one of my HL subjects along with chemistry and psychology. And my SL subjects are Math AA, Spanish B, and English LNL. I really enjoy all of the subjects I've selected. And I think in the DV program, what I've realized is that we study a fewer number of subjects, but we study them in greater depth. So it's important to select things that you genuinely enjoy, because if you take things just because you think um, they improve your chances of getting into certain colleges, or because you think maybe it's easier to score well in those subjects, you won't really be able to devote that much of time, attention, and effort into that subject. So I, the first, my first tip would be selecting subjects based upon your interest. So I'm on my way home back from the gym. Uh, I try to go every day for about one hour. And while I'm not exactly a sporty or athletic person, uh, physical activity is an integral component of uh, IB. It's part of the CAS program, which is creativity, activity, and service. So I'm back home from the gym. It's about 7.15 p.m. And I'm being force-fed fruits by my mother. But other than that, I'm planning to make some notes for chemistry. Uh, we're currently doing stoichiometry. And what I like to do is I just like to pay attention to what the teacher is saying in class. Um, and then I like to take down some detailed notes with diagrams and annotations. And what's especially convenient for me is that all of our sessions are recorded. So I can always go back to what the teacher was saying. And you know, if it's something significant and important, I can note that down. So I'm now gonna go and make my notes. and I'm about to go to bed. So we finally reached the segment of the video where I'll be answering some frequently asked questions based upon the transition from pre-IB to IB. So the first question is, how has my time management changed during the transition? So I've been doing um, my DP1 for over a month now. Um, so we have had a couple of exams and tests, but they were all quite well um, placed. So it's not as though I've had test after test, which is why I've also had the time to um, relax, to do other things that I enjoy, as well as focus upon my extracurricular activities. So the next question is, did my study techniques change in any way? My answer would be no. Uh, and this is because, like I said earlier, I did the IB MYP program from um, the 6th grade to the 10th grade. And before that, in the 5th grade, I did the IB primary years program. So I have been studying in the IB way for a long time now, which is why I haven't really known anything else. So my next question is, do I think that the coursework, now that I'm in the IB diploma program, is more difficult than a non-IB route or route or however you guys say it? My answer to that question would honestly be, I don't know. Um, and that's because I'm sort of like a pure-blooded IB student. I'm sorry about the Harry Potter reference, I just couldn't help it. 
um, but what I mean when I say pure-blooded is that I have been doing IB ever since we had the concept of assessments or projects or exams or anything like that so I have always been learning in an IB style but if I had to um, compare my IB MYP days to my IB DP days, I would say that the fundamental difference is that the IB MYP program has a lot of width, which means that you study a wide range of subjects. Um, I think I had eight subjects uh, along with service, which wasn't uh, officially a graded subject, but it was a requirement to pass. Uh, and then in the diploma program, like you guys already know or probably know, we have our three core subjects, which are EE, TOK and CAS. And then we have the three HL subjects and the three SL subjects. So you study the subjects you've selected in a lot of depth. So I think that's the difference, width versus depth. So my next question is, now that I'm in the IB, would I recommend it to future students? Why or why not? I would definitely recommend the IB program um, to anyone and everyone. Uh, I think the IB has developed this unfair reputation of being um, extremely rigorous, of you know um, preventing you from having anything that resembles a social life. But I think that's just... Um, an unfair stereotype. It's sort of a preconceived notion many people have getting into the IB program. But I think what people fail to understand is that all of this, this lack of social life and inability to, to do anything but study is only a reality if you don't manage your time well. If you manage to find that um, balance in your life, if you manage to manage your time and resources well, you will find that there is a lot of time to do other things that you wanted to do. Um, you can have a healthy social life. You can um, prioritize things like fitness, your hobbies, your extracurricular activities, as well as uh, achieve your um, ideal grades and you know do well in the IB diploma program. What would I like to say to my future IB self? This is my last question and it's a tricky one because I have a piece of advice but I don't know the extent to which I'll implement it um, and that advice would be just take it easy because I tend to um, get very overworked, I tend to get overstressed, um, I, I think I have very high expectations for myself and I can sometimes be unkind to myself if I don't think I've met it or if I thought I could have done better. So I would just say, the, uh, be kind to yourself. Um, the IB Diploma program is no joke. Yes, it can be stressful. But also remember that in the end, whatever you're working for, it is to be fulfilled and happy in the future. So be happy in the present as well. Study hard, but also have fun. And just, you know, I think take it one day at a time and you'll be fine. So this was essentially what a day in my life is like and I hope you found this video useful in some way and that it helps you in your future. I would like to thank the I Believe video team for compiling all of our videos and for taking this initiative because it really wouldn't have been possible without them. But for now, that's it and I would like to wish you all the best of luck in whatever you're doing. Have a great day and thanks for watching.